Hey, everybody. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate you tuning in. As always, love you guys. You guys are great. Uh, appreciate your support, your comments, everything. Um, I've been asked to um, do a response, a reaction response. I don't know if it's to be a reaction video or response video. But um, I've been asked probably a hundred times, hey, will you make a video telling us, you know, basically my feelings about being made into a meme. And so that's, I guess this is my official response to that. Um, <clears throat> I'm okay with it. My official response with is I'm okay that I've turned into a meme. Um, I know I probably should be a little embarrassed or a little hurt that I'm being made fun of, but I'm really not. I mean, I put it out there originally, and I mean, I originally titled it Fat Guy Canoe Fell, and I did that to be funny. Now, I would never, never makes fun of somebody else's weight. Even when I finish this weight loss journey and I'm a, you know, all nice and buff and not fat, I would still never shame somebody for their weight, their body shape, their size or anything because that's just wrong. But I have always had a bit of a self-deprecating humor. Um, so the only reason I felt comfortable tied on that fat guy canoe fell was because I was the fat guy in the canoe and I thought it was funny. Also didn't know it was going to blow up and 30, 40 million people see it. Not that they haven't seen mine, but they've seen the memes. Um, but um, I'm sorry. I got to do this. There we go. But uh, I'm not mad about it. Um, my first thought was, uh, well, at first, I just all out of the blue, because, you know, that video had a few hundred views. And all of a sudden, I had 1,000. All of a sudden, I had 3,000. All of a sudden, I had 4,000. And I'm like, what's going on? Because I started getting notifications. People commenting on it. I'm here from TikTok. Or why isn't he singing Moana in this one? I feel cheated. I'm like, what are they talking about? I had no clue. And so I started kind of looking for it, and uh, I couldn't find it. Um, at that time, I had a TikTok account, but I'd never used it. I had it just because... Um, my brother wanted me to look at something there one day, so I created an account. Um, now I get lost watching TikTok videos. But, um, so I went to TikTok, and I couldn't find it. And I'm like, oh, well. And I just used to get the occasional comment. I came here from TikTok. Uh, from TikTok or why is he singing? A lot of people actually really believed that was me singing. I don't know why, but they did. Well, a buddy of mine, his daughter was like, he called me, and he's like, um, my daughter just said, uh, hey, Dad, Dell's a meme. And so she showed me how to find it, and she helped me create a couple of TikTok videos to be funny. Now, I'm going to tell you what. I, could, I didn't get the uh, luxury of experience the full range of emotions because when I was shown it, I got very disappointed because The Rock commented on the pers other person's post of me. And I love The Rock. Like, I have very few people that I'm like, oh, I just really love that celebrity. Um, but I do. I've always, I've liked The Rock since, you know, the 90s and the WWF. Well, WWE now. But uh, him and Stone Cold Steve Austin, that was my favorite thing to watch as far as fake wrestling. Um, but I was like, The Rock commented. I love The Rock. And he gonna comment on theirs? I should get comments from The Rock. Yeah, it was a little childish, but that, that was my initial read. How's The Rock going to comment on this? And I was, then I started watching. I'm like, should I be embarrassed? Should I be hurt? And the thing about it, if you have to ask if you should be embarrassed or should be hurt, then you're not hurt. You're not embarrassed. Um, I thought it was funny. I said, I've got a good sense of humor, I feel like, and I have a very self-deprecating sense of humor. So I thought it was hilarious. Um, part of me was like, man, they're making fun of me. Now, the only part that bothered me, and I, you know, a lot of y'all know, I've been homeless for months. I'm living with someone, I'm crashing with someone. And, you know, we got a place. I got to quit saying I'm homeless because we have a place now. We're just having to clean it out and, you know, get rid of the methiness of it. But, um, you know, I've been broke and, you know, scraping to save money. And because, you know, one of my sources of income is gone because 
where I'm crashing. I don't have a shop to work in. Um, and so I'm just stuck with my online uh, at home job, which doesn't pay very much. <clears throat> but um, I was like, she started explaining to me how much money these people are making. And then I found it on YouTube. And y'all know I've just recently got, got monetized. Um, I'm almost at $200 earnings. I'm at $199.58. We're almost there. Um, it's after a month of monetization. So don't, it ain't easy to get rich on YouTube. But I did the math. If my video had 22 million views like some of these others have, I'd have made about $40,000, $45,000 off that video. So that part was a little bittersweet. It was like, ah, I'm getting the traffic and I finally got monetized. But man, I could have bought a piece of land bought a piece of land instead of having to rent a piece of land talk and save up money to buy it. Um, but you know what? Like I said, I can't be mad because if it wouldn't have been for them turning me into a meme, I wouldn't have got monetized. Mostly, I wouldn't have met you guys. I wouldn't have got all this traffic. We just hit fourth. We're over now. This morning, we just wrote over 4K subscribers, um, which is amazing. And that's, you know what? Screw the monetization. I love the interaction with you people. As ugly as the internet it can be sometimes, the people who comment on my videos and you guys that view and subscribe, y'all are beautiful people. So uh, long story short, my official response being made a meme is, I'm okay with it. I find it funny and I'm actually very appreciative. I'm thankful it happened. Um because I wouldn't have met you guys. So that's, that's my official response. I'm very grateful that they made me into a meme. And I'm also um, very, very appreciative of the comments y'all made about my beard the other day. I appreciate that. But I think it's getting time to trim it up. It's getting a little unruly. I don't, maybe we'll make it shorter, but it's right here. And I haven't had hair this long in forever. Yeah, that, I used to keep it shaved bald. And I'm just including that little tidbit just to see who watches this to the end. Anyway, uh, again, my official response is I'm okay with the meme. Um, I'm grateful for it. And I'm grateful for you guys. Thank you again for checking out my video. I love you all. God bless y'all. Roll Tide.